My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So, you know, I missed last Sunday and I apologize for that. Um, you know, it's just been a crazy time for me right now. I'm about to graduate school um, and, you know, it's my last quarter and I just can't believe it, it has come to an end. Um, I'm almost... I'm like two weeks away from having a bachelor's in psychology and I just give God the glory for that because God has really made a way for me to get through that you know um, and I really just feel proud of myself and it's been a long road but being in school having children working full-time you know uh, life gets super super busy and then there's other things going on my, on in my life so sometimes it's uh, it really sucks if I don't upload a video but it doesn't mean that I don't care about this channel it doesn't mean that I don't love you guys and I, I'm not excited to bring you this message like it's been a long day as you can tell all natural today but it's not gonna I'm not gonna let that stop me um, I need to get this message out I've been meditating on this message for two weeks um, and so I'll start by saying this okay that the enemy's biggest lie biggest deception and is to make you believe that God doesn't love you make you believe that you are so far from God that whatever you've done in your life whatever you're doing now maybe your walk you're just you you're condemning yourself right but God loves you God loves you and the enemy wants to kill, steal, and destroy your plan and purpose, your identity in Christ. The enemy wants you to believe that you're not good enough to be loved by God, that the things that you're doing in your life, and he's trying to condemn you and make you believe that God doesn't love you, that God doesn't delight in you. But the thing is, God loves us so much, so much. Even if you've walked with God and you've walked the other way, God loves you. And what what really has, you know, I've been saying these I am scriptures. I've shared that with you. But what really like sunk to me this time is I was reading in John and, um, uh, you know, right before Jesus is getting arrested um, and you read in John 17 where um, it talks about Jesus praying for the disciples um, and then you go to John 17, 20, and I'm going to read that for you. It says G when Jesus prays for all believers. So it says, my prayer is not for them alone. It's not for the disciples alone. I also, I pray also for those who believe in me through their message that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be as one, as one as we are, I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me father i want i want those you have given to given me to be with you where i am and to see my glory and the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of this world righteous father though the world does not know you i know you and they know that you have sent me i have made you known uh known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be given in them and that i myself may be in them that is so deep i love that scripture and i've been meditating on it and the one part that really stood out to me was then the world will know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. God loves us. God loves us. And through Jesus, we are connected to the Father. And, you know, we get the promise of the Holy Spirit. And to me, that is so amazing, so beautiful that no matter what I've done, I'll focus on me. I've done a lot of really really bad stuff in my life like I've done things that I am not proud of you know um, I've done things that really I've had to work through a 
uh, healing process. And I've only been able to do that through the power of the Holy Spirit. But the thing is, the enemy, you know, was trying to convince me that maybe I'm not doing enough, that I'm far from God. This is a recent thing, right? But at the end of the day, um, those are like the legalism, the, the religious works. That's not what where I need to be. Where I need to be is in relationship with God. Because God loves me. God loves you. God has no favorites. God is not a liar. And that's here in this scripture, John 17. Before Jesus is going to get murdered and beat and spit on and mocked, he is praying this. Lord, I, I pray that the world will see how much you love them. Right? God loves us. And God gives us the Holy Spirit that will lead us into victory in our lives, right? That we would be delivered and set free, that your families would be delivered and set free, and you would walk in peace, God's peace and joy and authority to intercede for the, your loved ones, to intercede for people you don't know. My, my biggest wish here on this earth, and I know this is where God has put me, but my biggest prayer and hope for people all around the world is for any be anybody that was dead and spiritually dead and walking in darkness that their lives would be transformed by God transformed by the love of God because I was radically transformed right and I want that for anyone that anyone in this world I want that for everyone because it is so amazing God's love is so amazing and if you haven't felt it or you feel far away from it it is a lie from the enemy God loves you and delights in you and has a plan and a purpose and to prosper you and what prosper means to me and what I've interpreted it as is not a worldly prosper but a prosper for you in your plan and your purpose and your self-love and your relationships to be restored to your mind to be restored to your life to be restored to you to walk in confidence in your love to have a relationship with god to be poured out god's love poured out on you to for you to hear holy spirit for you to be confident for you to walk in your authority and have victory in your life that is prospering right to live in god's will because god's will is better for us than our human minds could ever comprehend you know, so I'm going to close this out on this. Um, I'm going to close this in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I just lift up anybody that is listening to you, Father. And I bind up the lie of the enemy. I bind up the scheme and the lie that he would try and put doubt and confusion and misleading manipulation to make them believe that you are not close to them, that you are not loving them, Father, because I know that you love me and I know that you love them. So I bind up the lie of the enemy right now and I loosen God truth and I loosen um, the Holy Spirit's protection a Holy Spirit fire to just wrap around my mind wrap around their minds whoever is watching this in the name of Jesus um, I just pray if there's any heaviness any distraction any burden in their life right now father that you would just take it and give them your light yoke father I pray for the peace to overwhelm them right now in the name of Jesus I pray for eyes to hear and ears our eyes to see and ears to hear you, Father. I pray for our spiritual senses to be awakened right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would just show up in our lives in a new way, Father. That you would guide us and lead, lead us, Father, with revelation, wisdom, knowledge of you, Father. We need more of you, Holy Spirit. We love you, God. We honor you. We thank you for all that you're pouring into our lives right now. All that you're going to pour in our lives, Father. We give you all the honor and glory. I love you, God. We love you. We know that you love us we believe that we stand on your love god because you love us in jesus name we pray amen i'm excited about that i'm excited about god's love for us and holy spirits and um you know i'm just i'm gonna do my best to upload as many videos as i can right now um, my schedule is about to change is about to open up a little bit more so i'll have time to make more videos um one promise that I can give you is that I'm not leaving this channel, that I will make time. Um, even if I come on all natural, 
okay? I'm going to make these videos because I believe in God. I believe in the love of God. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in power of prayer. I believe that God wants to change your life, wants to transform your life, and I will never stop preaching this. I will never stop. I will show up the best that I can, and this is the best that I can today. Um, I might miss a couple of weeks. I might miss a week, but I am not going anywhere. You know, um, I'm just praying. I'm just praying for you guys as I'm away. I love you guys. And I will see you later. Take care.